largely it's going to allow everybody to be better at what they already do right <laughs> nobody's looking at this as replacing it's just enhancing we're bothering to do this digital process to design it and build it is because not only can every individual owner have a completely digital version of their completed and constructed asset but now when i go to do a project when i go to put in a new sewer line somewhere in a residential street in a, in a 50 year old development i can see everything The construction sector is responsible for the 40% of emission of CO2, and we really need to fix that. No matter if you're a student or SEO, we really need to contribute to this. And BIM alone is not the solution, but it can help to create a more efficient industry. Well, I think BIM can have an important role in achieving the goal of net zero buildings, um, ultimately to be completely regenerative buildings that are self-supporting. What BIM can do most effectively is help make the decisions early in the process, which lead to that goal. The influence of the integrated digital workflows, the way that artificial intelligence, for instance, is going to become much more of a driver to decision making from concept all the way through to operations and the, the kind of growth of automation of an awful lot of repetitive uh, functions that don't need the wheel to be reinvented every single time. Uh, all of these are really coming together in an important way. I like to say that we're about halfway through what will probably be about a 30 year total transformation of this industry into something that's completely unrecognizable by the time it's done. Construction sector is really an exciting industry to be. A lot of the time people they associate to you know working on the site in a dirty place and my message is really to everyone that you know, especially if you are young, this is the place for you. We really need the talent and uh, you can really use your skills in order to make a difference. Mm -hmm.